Hi everyone, my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla and today I'm going to be your guide here at the Florianopolis International Airport. But before we go anywhere, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe and also to follow me on Instagram at Rodrigo Morato with two T's. So are you ready to get to know this incredible airport here in the town of Florianopolis in the south of Brazil? Let's go. So we're going to start our vlog here at the Florianopolis International Airport with arrivals. We're going to show you our experience arriving in Florianopolis and then after that we're going to show you departures, okay? I'm at departures right now, let's go back to arrivals. We got here from Sao Paulo last week. Let's go. As we arrived, we came across great natural beauty. The state of Santa Catarina is one of the tourism sector's most promising destinations within Brazil. More and more people from all over the globe have been coming to this part of the country in recent years. The International Airport of Florianopolis is the largest and most modern airport in the state of Santa Catarina in the south of Brazil. Since January 3rd of 2018, the airport has been administered by a private company called Floripa Airport, owned by Swiss giant Zurich Airport, a company that manages nine airports around the world, four of them here in Brazil. The airport of Florianopolis is one of the country's most modern airports. The airport has 10 brand new jetways and a handling capacity of 8 million passengers a year. Zurich Airport has done a great job building this brand new terminal. The company has been chosen as the recipient of the airport's concession until 2047. So now that our flight has finally arrived in Florianopolis, it's time for us to disembark in one of the airport's brand new jetways. I'm wondering if this airport really is one of Brazil's most beautiful. It isn't that big, you know, so how much could it really impress me? Let's find out. I got here to Florianopolis via LATAM, which is a Brazilian airline company, from Congonhas Airport in Sao Paulo. Please watch my vlog of that airport review and also of my flight review flying LATAM from Congonhas to Florianopolis. It's here on Travelzilla. Just click on the iCard or on the link in the description of this video. When you get off the plane, you have to go through departures in order for you to get to the baggage claim area. To get there, just follow the signs. It's pretty easy. In my opinion, the airport of Florianopolis is one of Brazil's most beautiful and modern despite its moderate size. It's a great airport overall. If you happen to disagree with me though, please write down in the comment section which airport is your favorite in Brazil. The architecture and decor of this airport is very pleasant to the eyes, especially if you had the opportunity to see for yourself how bad the old terminal was. Believe me, it was so small, it looked more like an old countryside bus station. All of that before it was privatized, then everything changed. Now let's get to the baggage claim area, shall we? It's very easy. Just follow the signs, go down the escalators and you get there in no time. The airport of Florianopolis has eight baggage carousels that function with the help of a very modern system called BHS or baggage handling system, which is equipped with luggage carousels and tomographers, which can identify explosives and other prohibited goods if present in a given object. It also scans the various pieces of luggage many times during the time it moves from the plane to the given belt, making sure that no mistakes happen. Hey, so here we are, I got my pieces of luggage, now we're all set, we're ready to go to the hotel. After you get out of the luggage claim area, you get to the airport's beautiful boulevard area, which is a very interesting area of this terminal indeed. Before we get to the boulevard, let's go through the area where you can get a taxi or Uber, shall we? Let's have a look. The airport is located about 18 kilometers or 11.2 miles from the city center. And the prices aren't so expensive at all. 
I paid 30 reais or 6 US dollars, about 6 euros, for a ride from my hotel in the city center to the airport. As soon as you get to the Florianopolis International Airport, you're going to encounter an open air boulevard called Boulevard 1432. The boulevard functions as a large square where cultural events take place. Many shops are located in the area as well, the area adjacent to the main entrance to the airport's terminal. The Boulevard 1432 is Brazil's first events boulevard to exist within a Brazilian airport. Its name has to do with the numbers used in the airport's headlands, 14 and 32. The boulevard is home to one of the three branches of Starbucks located here at Floripa Airport, as well as a few other shops and cafes. Let's have a look. Aside of a selection of stores and a Starbucks, the boulevard has a very busy schedule of events that take place here throughout the year. The airport has a very simple yet beautiful design as well as a really appealing decor. Over 200 million US dollars have been invested into the airport since the beginning of its concession to the private sector in 2018. It looks awesome, you guys! Now that you've seen arrivals in the boulevard area, how about we go back to the terminal and check out departure, shall we? Let's go! As soon as you enter, you come across two really cool cafes, the Astro and the Riviera Cafe, as well as other restaurants and cafes. When you get out of the baggage claim area, you'll end up right here. Now, if you have a flight to catch, you need to get up to the first floor where Departures is located. There you find the luggage drop-off area. Right here in this area, you find the national and international departures, 45 check-in positions, so on and so forth. The main companies that fly here are Azul, Gol, Latam and Aerolíneas Argentinas. Here you'll also find the second out of three Starbucks branches that are located here at Floripa Airport. I purchased some really cool mugs of the city of Florianopolis made by Starbucks right here. Well now it's time to go through security and then head towards the flight's given gate. In order to do that, all you need to do is scan your ticket and show your ID and also go through security. Let's go! We made it through security, we're here at departures uh, and now we're getting ready to, you know, just be called to board. Let's wait a little bit more and we're going to be boarding soon. After you go through security, you will see the duty-free shop as well as many other shops and cafes of very well-known brands within Brazil. The airport seats often have USB ports and regular plugs attached. I like that very much. Here at Departures, you'll find magazine stands, restaurants, cafes, handcraft shops, so on and so forth. So cool. Let's check out the prices of the airport's Starbucks number 3, shall we? Let's go! Hey guys!
guys, so I came here to Starbucks. They have three Starbuckses here, which is crazy. Okay, I got a chai latte, 400 ml, medium grande, whatever they call it, and two Brazilian cheese breads. And that cost me 26 reais, okay, 26 reais. I'm gonna put the prices in euros and US dollars for you guys, okay? Leandro got uh, one cafe latte and a cookie for the same price, 26 reais. I think I got a better deal than he did because I got two, two cheese breads, two worth it. My deal was better. It didn't take long before our order was ready. Yum! I like my Brazilian cheese bread. I got two of them and a chai latte for 26 reais. Yummy, good deal. Two of these and a chai latte at Starbucks. Yeah! So the airport terminal has an area of 49,000 square meters or 527,431.7 square feet. Ooh, I lost my breath there. 13 gates, 10 jetways, 8 baggage carousels, 1 VIP room, 45 check-in positions and parking for 2,500 vehicles. The airport capacity is of 8 million passengers a year and it has two runways, an auxiliary landfill of about 1 mile in length and the main one with 2.5 kilometers or 1.6 miles called 1432, both of them with 148 feet in width. Hey guys, don't forget to watch both Go and Latam flight reveals coming in and out of Florianopolis, for both of them are here on Travelzilla. Please let me know in the comment section if you think this airport is really amongst the most beautiful here in Brazil. Guys, thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe and also to follow me on Instagram at Morato with two T's, link in description. Please watch my other videos here on Travelzilla about Santa Catarina, Brazil, the Beto Carreira world, which is South America's best theme park and other videos from around the world. Thank you so much once again. See you next time. Bye bye.